Hey you guys, it's Shamira, aka Mimi. If you are new, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, welcome back. You guys, it's Monday. I'm refreshed and I feel alive, okay? So I definitely have some energy to share with you guys. This will be a three option pick a card on your worst and best traits. So, so you guys, head over to the description box below. Choose the number of the pile or the channel song. So I will have a channel song for each pile. Um, Figure out which one you guys are drawn to the most, okay? Which one is calling out to you the most. And choose that one. Pause the video if you like, okay? So, you guys, um, yeah, this, this is definitely, I, I feel like I, I do have more energy to do what I have to do. Uh, the last video, I put so much energy. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so upset about it. But um, it is what it is, okay? It wasn't that. Even though I was definitely feeling it, I even changed uh, the whole topic of that video too. So maybe I'll do it sometime next week, okay? Because I cannot promise you guys anything. So let's get started with Power One. Power One. Ooh, wee. Power One. The channel song I got for you guys was Confidence by Ray featuring Malik Berry, okay? So your worst and best traits, you guys, please, when you are looking at these type of videos, uh, do not get offended by what you guys are hearing as far as the worst traits, okay? Because it definitely could be something that you guys are uh, knowing, kind of knowing that you guys need to work on, but you choose not to. Um, sometimes it might trigger you. Not all the time. It is true. If you guys feel like it's not resonating with you, that's not your worst trait, then just disregard it, okay? Um, you guys do not have to get so overly emotional about it or just... Uh, really aggressive and nasty about it because I you know people will come in through the comments like oh my god that's not me this is bullshit I would never do that okay you know you would never do it then just disregard it okay you know that's not you um I do read for just more than one person I'm not personally reading for uh one person I got one card it was a lot of them that popped out but I got one card um upright I'm gonna pull from two different oracle decks okay for your worst and best uh traits okay and I'm going to read off of those two cards. It's not going to be tarot. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, I really do want you guys to look at these videos and just keep an open mind because um, this channel is all about healing. I'm not going to just tell you the great things about yourself or just uh, speak to you guys, bubblegum and gumdrop type of energy and pretending like I don't see the, the negative too. Okay. So, if you guys are expecting me to sell you guys a dream or just tell you anything you want to hear, that's definitely not going to be my channel. And I do not want you guys to get offended by things that I'm saying. Um, once again, if you know what does not apply, okay, definitely let it fly and let it go. Okay, let it go, let it flow. So you guys got Confidence by Ray. Richard Malik Burry. You guys got Channel Your Knowledge, Critical Judgment. Okay, I'm going to start off with your best traits. Okay, and you guys got dreams. So... Pow, pow, pow one. You guys are best traits when it comes to you. I'm going to definitely say that you guys do not care. Um, I'm feeling like you guys, I don't know why I'm getting that. Some of you guys are just getting over, um, worried about or or even signifying about what other people are thinking about you. Because some of you guys could uh, definitely face, I would say, uh, worried about, okay, overly concerned about how people are viewing you, okay? Some of you have really big dreams. You guys are that type of person that... Um, people can't miss, okay? It's something about that confidence due to the song, okay? Uh, confidence. Really look up the definition of confidence and you guys uh, figure out what you guys' definition of confidence means. But I want you to read the legit uh, definition of it, okay? It's deeper than just uh, you guys putting on a show, putting on an act or going out there and uh, seeming important and, and, and showing everyone what you guys are made of. It's deeper than that, okay? It's on a soul level. Um, it doesn't just exude on... It doesn't exude from you based on what you guys are wearing on the outer, on the outer appearance, on the outside. But it's, it's definitely, it comes from within, okay? No one can buy it. No one can uh, give it to you. No one can take it away from you, okay? It's just there. Um, most of you guys were born with that type of confidence, okay? So some of you, I would say in early life, I'm feeling like you could be or you could have been really close off to other people. Um, I'm feeling like a lot of people around you, when they first met you, even growing up, they would always uh, base your worth, okay, how you guys were as a person, your character traits based on how you guys look, okay? And I'm seeing that you guys look really, really good, okay? You guys have 
um, some attractive qualities. I'm seeing a lot of symmetrical uh, features on your face. If not, you guys, it's something about something on your face that just makes you beautiful or most people find attractive about you, okay? It could be your lips, it could be your eyes, but I'm feeling like your eyes, you could have really great almond-shaped eyes, okay? So most of you guys, when you got into situations with people or you got into connections with people, I'm seeing that you could have been um, outcast or even targeted and picked on because of how great you guys look, how attractive you guys were. I don't know why I'm about to say good and great at the same time. Um, it was something else I was going to say. Okay, that's yeah, so what made me slip up. But um, people would usually, I would say, uh, judge you okay overly judge you like i said it's something about them criticizing you judging you based on how you guys look okay and i'm, I'm feeling like you guys will find this uh absolutely heartbreaking because you try to figure out why why am i always targeted why am i always bullied um, if you guys weren't bullied why am i always not asked to go places if you are a fairly attractive person you might have noticed that your friends growing up it doesn't matter what age you guys were didn't like to invite you to a lot of places because they are were a little intimidated by uh, your appearance okay a little intimidated by you so you find yourself by yourself a lot i feel like you, most of you guys in this power like loners okay like you guys uh, may get a lot of attention, a recognition from other people, but um, you guys are are super uh, isolated. Not not because you guys are lonely or you guys uh, are sad or a sad person. It's because you guys are trying to protect yourself. It's definitely a, a defense mechanism against other people who are not that kind to you, who are not that uh, who are not as confident as you. So they try to in some way uh, pick and 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 uh just pick at you, okay? Pick at your, your your flaws, pick at your appearance, or not even just your appearance. Maybe you guys look really, really good. Uh, nothing is wrong with your appearance, but they, you always have to find this one person, um, maybe friends, okay? Peers, I'm seeing a lot of peers and friends and your coworkers who like to point out something about you. Um, even if you guys look really well, you dress really well, you look really good, they would um, try to pick at your character or even try to make you the butt of the jokes, okay? Um, a lot of overly um, critical judgmental people towards you so you guys definitely keep yourself to yourself okay um and like i said once again it's not because you are a lonely person or you guys are sad it's because you guys are trying to protect yourself okay you guys are like you know what? i'm tired of getting treated like this i'm just going to stay to myself and stay in my lane and maybe no one would but people even no one will mess with me but you know no matter what you do because you guys do so much uh attractiveness and so much uh, confidence okay you guys can't help but show it okay you guys can't help but draw people to you okay so that is your best trait you guys have is no matter how people are judging you guys still remain in this confident type of energy okay you do not let people um i mean like i said i feel like at some point some point you guys allow people's judgment of you okay to kind of get you to go into your head maybe um isolate yourself to a, a to an extreme um, to the fact that you guys were like uh, too afraid to socialize, okay? So I'm seeing that you guys are getting out of that. I don't think you guys are in this type of energy now, but um, I, feel like, I feel like the beginning of most of your life, the early part of your life, you guys were more of uh, keeping to yourself, okay? Being a loner uh, due to some sort of self-preservation, okay? Some sort of um, defense mechanism. And maybe you guys did question yourself, question your own worth. Um, for a while, some of you guys could have looked at yourself, viewed yourself as being that ugly person. If you guys didn't dress well, you guys were attractive, you guys didn't have much going up. Maybe people kind of judged you or uh, bullied you for your appearance, okay? So you guys allow those judgments to kind of get the best of you, okay? But I'm seeing that when you guys did... Uh, because I'm feeling like you guys are popping out of your shell. You guys are starting to not care what other people are thinking about you. Okay, I'm feeling like you guys are stepping more into your confidence uh, on a higher level, on a deeper level. You guys are exuding it um, more, okay? Are showcasing it more than you guys have ever done before because I feel like you guys have finally gotten over that mental block of um, thinking that no one truly liked you and there was something truly wrong with you. You guys have understood that the people around you were not for you they were just jealous okay most of the hate and the critical judgment came from uh what they were feeling inside so you guys like i said it's something about uh not focusing on not concerning yourself uh with what other people are thinking okay and because of that um 
I feel like you guys have leveled up on the confidence level, okay? On that confidence aspect of yourself and your personality. And also you guys learn to uh, be by yourself through isolation away from people to try to protect yourself. You guys definitely learn to master yourself and your personality. You guys have uh, developed a interesting, okay, personality about yourself. You guys are really interesting to get to know. So the people in the background, people in the past may have... Uh, they may have uh, been really critical of you guys now because they can see that they was uh, they were affecting you in some way, okay? They were able to control you, control your mind in some way. But I'm seeing that now because you guys have finally and fully figured out uh, why they were coming for you the way they were, and you guys are more uh, powerful now, they cannot, um, they can't affect you. They're kind of afraid of you. They're kind of intrigued by you. They kinda, they're trying to figure out, you know, how did this person... Uh, get through our, our judgment of them. How is this person? How is this person able to block our criticism when it comes to them? How is this person able to still become so confident? Okay, and be so much in their power, um, even after the things that we have done and said. Okay, because you guys finally worked on yourself. You definitely worked on yourself. And um, yeah, they're trying to figure out how you guys did it. Okay, so some people who used to mess with you, judge you, bully you, whatever they did to you, to try to uh, chip at your self-esteem and your confidence. They, they're realizing they can't do it anymore. And they're also trying to figure out uh, what's your secret, okay? Because they're, they're trying to do it themselves, okay? They're trying to uh, maybe use the type of tactics that you guys have used. Because um, most of the time when people hurt you when they're being that critical of you, um, that's because they're critical of themselves or other people around them have been critical of them. So they kind of um, I would say push that hurt and that pain out on other people, okay? Even though it's not fair, they're not supposed to be doing it. Some people still feel the need and the urge to do it, okay? To make them, themselves feel better. Um, so they, they're probably secretly watching you guys right now. I'm seeing taking notes, okay? The guy with the pen, okay? They're, they're trying to take notes of... Uh, and also I'm hearing that some people just will not give it up. They will not give up trying to hurt you and try to sabotage you or damage you. Uh, they feel the need to take notes. Um, okay, if this didn't work, I'm gonna we're, we're gonna do this. So this that that didn't work, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Um this person is not that uh confident. It's, it's it's some type of insecurity. So some people are like taking notes because they kind of admire you guys' resilience towards their bullshit and, and what they have done to you to try to chip at your self-esteem and your self-worth. And others are still, you know going on with it, trying to figure out what insecurity you guys have, trying to figure out what your Achilles heel is. Okay, so it's like uh, you have two different groups of people. Most people are just looking at you in awe because they're like, damn, this person really has gotten through it. They're really that person. They're really that chick. They're really that guy. Okay, they really have that confidence. And no matter what we say and do, it's going to deter from that. Okay, so you guys have a high level of self-esteem. You guys have this ability to block all the negativity out. Um, and you guys learn to just uh, focus on uh, truly developing yourself from the inside out, okay? It's not just the looks, but also you guys got the brains. You guys have the personality. Something about the personality. And also, as far as these dreams, um, you guys have big aspirations in life. Um, seeing that you guys could have this uh, larger-than-life type of personality, okay? That confidence, like he's saying. So you guys could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or have some fire placements, um, maybe fire rising. So you guys got a fire sign in your rising, um, your north node, or your uh, midhaven, okay? That's all about the midhaven. is all about uh, community, how you guys come off to your community, okay? How you guys come off to the public, your persona, and so is your, your rise and your rise is more like a persona. The first, uh, I would say the first person people are introduced to is your rising. So you guys definitely have those big dreams. Okay. The best uh, thing about your dreams that you just, uh, you believe in yourself enough to go for it. Okay. A lot of people feel like, like I said, it all comes down to how they used to treat you or how they are treating you. No matter what they say, what they do, you guys do not give up on your dreams. Okay. Um, others of you guys, as far as your worst, your worst uh, traits. I don't know why I'm feeling like, I feel like you guys have kind of gotten over the worst traits because I don't feel like you guys exude those worst traits or you guys um, are really overly concerned. Some of you could be once in a while, you guys have big dreams. You may share your dreams with other people around you, but once in a while you get this one person, this one or two people 
who say something to you or even uh, try to discourage you in some way. You guys kind of allow that person or those people to get in your head. OK, so you guys may share a dream with people. And then uh, someone says one thing about it. You guys go into a whole spiral, okay? Going back and forth in your head, like, well, this person said this, so this must not be my dream. This must not be what I'm supposed to do. And sometimes you guys will allow other people's criticism or judgment, okay? Nasty ass judgment, because it's not really constructive criticism or encouragement. It's always like a discouraged. Like, are you sure you want to do that? Or you're not that type of person to do that. People trying to tell you who you are um, based on their perception of you. You guys might have allowed people to get into your heads to the point where you guys were uh, slacking on your dreams, okay? Going back and forth with the pros and the cons. If, if you guys were already sure about doing a specific thing or doing a certain thing before you share that with other people, um, you guys were already sure and confident in it. Why are you allowing one person or uh, one or two people's comments, okay, to derail you? just like that okay some of you guys are still in some way working on uh blocking out negativity and learning how to uh, control your thoughts and control your emotions and how you perceive yourself okay that is some of you guys worst trait okay is allowing other people's words to discourage you so easily okay so i'm hearing that you, you may need to uh Develop more of a thicker skin but like i said most people in this group i don't feel like you guys allow this to happen to you uh, now, I don't think you guys are experiencing at this very moment your worst traits or showcasing your worst traits. I do feel like this is something you guys have struggled with in the past. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it here. You guys can pass my 15 minute mark, but I hope this kind of uh, boosts you guys up. Okay. Give you guys some insight about um, why you guys sometimes are the way you are as far as your personality and stuff like that or how you're coming off to, to other people around you. Just know that everyone else's, uh, I would say, perspective or perception of you is not important. The only one that is important is about how you see yourself, okay, is yours and yours alone, okay? So, you guys, thank you so much for being with me for watching. If you feel like it did resonate, choose another pile. We'll leave it all together, okay? Like, share, subscribe, and comment, you guys. I do not mind. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching with me for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, Pal 2, Pal 2, your worst and best traits, okay? So, Pal 2, the channel time that I got for you was To the Max by Nana Rogues. I think it's the, the name is Nana Rogues featuring WizKid and who else? Uh, notes, okay? Oh, we how to. I'm gonna start off with your best traits, okay? I'm gonna pull these two cards, but I'm feeling like you guys are uh, you guys have to be a fire sign, or you guys are an air sign, or a mixture of both. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, and Libra. Too many cards that fell out. So to the max, really going to that song, it's, it's a real chill, laid back type of song, okay? I don't know, I feel like it's more sensual than anything, but um, you guys like to do things in extremes, okay? Some of you guys may have a thinking of all good and all bad, or I'm um, seeing that people around you might even uh, look at you. You guys don't really get a lot of people who are in the middle when it comes to deciding on you. If you I would ask a lot of people, what do they think of you? Um... People would either love you, okay, a lot, okay, maybe uh, until uh, up until obsession, okay, where it can actually lead to obsession, or they would uh, hate you. But I will see both of them are obsession in some way, and it's always to an extreme. Uh, they, they, I think they feel like most people feel like they kind of hate you, okay. I wouldn't say most, but the people who don't like you, they would consider themselves an uh, enemy, okay. I'm seeing a lot of frenemies. Some of you guys may uh, in some way attract a lot of frenemies, okay? But people don't really look at you as being a stable energy. I'm going to take this one, okay? Oh, wow, entrapment. I don't know why I keep getting this card, okay? I feel like I need to pull another one from here, okay? You guys come off as being really flaky, okay? Oh, my Lord. Okay, I got that one. Um, Three of them came out, but I don't feel the need to take them. Lord. Um, you guys got self-love. I did another one in a trap, man. Okay, because I, I feel like this car always comes out of this deck in some way. Okay, so some of you guys could come off as being, um, like I said, you could come off as being rather 
uh, extroverted, okay? It's a lot of opposites that's going on with you guys. So some of you guys may even have fire and air signs. You must have a fire sun and in an in a, in a air moon or air sun and a fire moon, which you guys come off as being like a polar opposite. I'm here also here in uh, Gemini, okay? Some people might feel like you guys just have a different personality, maybe an alter ego that affects you in some way, okay? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I want to start off with the good, but I don't know why I'm feeling all the negative energies. I feel like it's a lot of people around you who may uh, perceive you in this way of being like a Jekyll and Hyde type of personality, a flaky type of personality. They can't really, I would say, uh, depend on you in some way, okay? So let me pull a card from here. Damn, you guys got entrapment and self-love, okay? So some of you could definitely come off as being so gentle and open, extroverted, like a social butterfly, uh, being really sweet and caring and compassionate for others, not only others, but yourself. And in other times, you guys may seem distant, uh, standoffish, okay? Divine will, let go of fear. Uh, standoffish, like you guys have other things going on in your life. You can, uh, can't be bothered with people. Okay, so I would say your best trait is to, um, now I'm going to start off with the worst trait. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm not going to say the word, the best trait. I'm going to tell you guys the worst trait. That's what I'm getting right now. Okay, so your worst trait is coming off sometimes as being flaky, um, being indecisive. So I'm seeing that the Libra, okay, not knowing what type of energy you want to be in. Um, some of you guys could be on a self-healing journey in some way, uh, maybe going through the dark night of the soul, getting over certain issues about yourself. That has nothing to do with anyone else. Um, going back to that song, To the Max, okay? You guys may uh, do a lot of things in extremes, okay? When you guys are really happy, you guys are like, yes, love and light, okay? Okay? You guys come off as being um, multi, multifaceted, okay? Uh, multi-layered, multi, uh, the, I don't know, the dimensional in some way, okay? Um, you guys are, are definitely... I would say hard, okay? Quite difficult and hard to uh, decipher or to understand. A lot of people do not understand you, okay? You guys may suffer from bipolar in some way, or you may have some sort of mental uh, uh, difficulty you guys are kind of working through or coping with. But you guys come off as being interesting. That's the best trait, okay? You guys come off as being uh, someone that a lot of people cannot uh, put in one box, okay? Um when you guys love something, when you guys uh, uh, love people, okay, you guys are in a really great energy. You guys are all in, okay? You're really, uh, I'm, still, I'm seeing a lot of, of extremes, okay? You guys are really in, like you're, you're fully in, immersed in whatever you guys are doing, whatever you guys are saying, or in a certain type of energy, in a certain type of positive energy, you guys are fully immersed in it, okay? But when you guys are sad and going through things, okay, you guys can come off as being a menace, like a monster, um, like I said, you guys may not be as open or compassionate or generous or even uh, interested in other people around you. You guys may uh, brush people off and stuff like that, okay? And I don't know why I'm seeing that if you guys uh, work with the public for a living, okay? You guys may be the type of person who is like a, a big team player, like a, a leader and so on. People would love to follow you. Okay, specifically when you guys are exuding this type of energy, this, this feel-good energy, this self-love, or this universal love type of energy, um, you get a lot of people to follow you to the ends of the earth. Like I said, it's something about obsession, okay? That's one of your best traits. You guys are a great leader, a likable person. I'm seeing that Libra, okay? A really likable and down-to-earth person, a person that people wouldn't mind following to the ends of the earth, okay? Um, you guys make people believe in something, uh, that they wouldn't have believed in on their own. You guys definitely give people hope and strength, okay? You guys are definitely that guiding light for other people, okay? It depends on how you guys uh, are feeling in the moment when people interact with you or when they first meet you. Um, you guys do make a... a it, it, it kind of depends on what type of energy you guys are in. It depends on the type of person people get from you, the type of person people experience with you, Okay? If some people were to, uh, someone's supposed to ask people around you to describe you, they would get people who would describe you as this, other people who would describe you as a really negative energy to be around or just uh, a nightmare, okay? I don't know why I'm here, a nightmare. Um, a lot of things in the stream, okay? So 
yeah, you guys work in extreme. When you guys are busy with work, you guys are fully immersed in it. You guys put your all into it, okay? It, it can kind of like um, make people feel like they aren't important to you, okay? So like I said, if people are viewing you or perceiving you as being uh, not interested, okay? Uh, having things on your mind, uh, not truly engaging with them. It's not because you guys are purposely doing this because you guys are purposely um, focused on what's important to you, okay? It's not to hurt them. So people might have a, a, a negative perspective on you based on your your need to be extreme or to extremely, uh, I would say, envelop yourself or um, just get yourself wrapped up in your hobbies and your job and your work and your purpose, okay? And they can sometimes... Uh, take it personal and label you as being a bad person, okay? Like this person, I ask them a question. They're not even paying me any mind. They're not using eye contact. They're not looking at me. They're not answering the phone while I'm talking to them. This person must be, um, you know, going through a depression or something like that. Half, half the time you guys aren't. I feel like probably two you guys like are just busy, uh, focused on whatever you guys need to focus on at that moment. You guys aren't fully... Um, your guys are purposely doing things to people or ignoring these people on purpose to hurt them. Uh, they just seem to take it personally, okay? And some of you guys feel like also uh, you are in a position in life where you are in an area of your life where you don't feel the need to constantly explain things to people. Um, If you guys don't answer the phone, if you guys aren't paying attention to people, you guys don't feel the need to overly explain yourself to people. And um, that could be another, uh, that could be one of your bad traits, okay? And not properly communicating with people or... Uh, I would say reassuring people around you that, that they're not the problem, that you guys are just busy. Um, yeah, you guys could definitely have a, a tendency to do that, okay? Have people up in their head trying to figure out what they did wrong to you half of the time because, like, you did nothing, okay? I'm just fucking busy. But you guys don't don't feel the need to explain this or to uh, properly communicate, okay? So some of the time when you guys, or half the time when you guys are going through issues with other people, it's because you guys aren't... Uh, I feel like you guys aren't, uh, I would say, helping other people see that they're not the problem. You guys aren't aren't putting in the effort, okay, to make things better. Because you guys are so super and hyperly focused on yourself, you can definitely uh, cause a lot of issues with other people in your relationships, in your uh, interpersonal relationships. This goes for work. It also goes with uh, personal relationships, okay? Sometimes people cannot get a hold of you, okay? Because you guys are like busy, focused on other things. And um, others of you guys, when you are indulging in self-pleasure, it's something about self-pleasure too. You guys either work really, really hard and then you guys play really hard. Because when you guys are like working, you only focused on work and only work. No one can uh, distract you. So that is a good a good trait about you guys that people cannot easily distract you. Um. But it, but it can definitely, uh, if you guys aren't properly communicating with other people, um, it can cause a lot of problems with people around you, specifically people who are in relationships with you, especially when they can't get a hold of you. It's something about not being able to reach you. You guys are unreliable, okay? And it's not, like I said, it's not that you guys do it on purpose it's because you guys feel the need to. Um, you, you have a purpose. You have things to do. Okay, I got shit to do today. I don't know why I'm hearing that. So you guys are the person to turn off your phone, okay? Um, or just disappear, just ghost everyone, fall off the map. So the worst trait is definitely being unreliable. The best trait is being focused, okay? Um, undistractable, okay? I don't know if that's a word, but it's going to be a word today, undistractable. And with this self-love, uh, the best trait as far as like you guys uh, playing, okay? You guys might play hard. Um, you guys, when you do, it's something about, it's, 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 I'm really focused on about communication. Um, people saying, if you wanted to spend time with yourself, if you wanted to uh, take time away from me, why didn't you just say so? Why why ghost me and not say anything? Because when you guys play, um, you may turn off your phone. You guys may sit back, relax, chill with your person or chill with whoever you guys are chilling with. Um, you guys may just take one night out the week and just fully drink. Okay, drink yourself silly, drink yourself until you fall asleep. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of uh, self-indulging. You guys do it to the max. Okay, if you guys like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to fucking do it. Okay, I'm not going to do it halfway and be halfway stressed out. Nobody's messing up my high, okay? <laughs> oh, I see how she's looking up, okay? Like, yes, I feel so great. Um, Yeah, nobody's going to fuck up your moment or mess up your high, okay? So, you guys, um, your worst trait 
I don't feel like this is kind of according to other people. Your worry straight could be uh, people overly critical, criti critical of you or criticizing you and judgmental of you. Um, they may see you as doing too much. OK, but if you guys do indulge in some sort of self pleasure, you guys do it to the max. People don't like it. They kind of feel like you guys are self absorbed. OK, like this person could have just told me that they didn't want me to hang with them or they were busy fucking doing them. They didn't have to do me like that. OK. So yeah, it's something about you guys not allowing other people to distract you or make you feel a certain type of way about yourself, okay? So to other people who see you in a really negative light, they look at you as being unreliable, they feel like your worst traits are being unreliable, self-absorbed, okay? Which I feel like is not true. Uh, it depends on the person and how they're perceiving you, okay? If they're taking what you do personal, then of course they're going to perceive you like this. But if they are looking, looking at you as a human, as a person, they kind of understand that you guys... I uh, need your time to yourself and you guys will be back around them or will be able to engage with them when the time is right, when you guys are ready. Okay. I'm getting a lot of extremes with you, how to, okay? Yeah, to the max, to the max, <laughs> to the max. Divine will, lit go of fear. You guys, your best trait is not allowing other people uh, to make you feel fearful of losing them, okay? Even though you guys... Uh, may come off flaky and are reliable to other people around you. Um, like I said, something about you guys not allowing it to determine their perception of you, not allowing them to determine how they view how you view yourself. Okay, um, some of you guys uh feel empowered to just be yourself. Okay, and to just uh show up this way to the world without worrying about people. Um leaving you okay or judging you people might judge you they might judge you a lot because of this flakiness but you guys know that you have great intentions behind the way you guys behave uh you accept who you are to the full to the fullest extent okay i feel like you guys uh best trait is just to just accept yourself for who you are okay and not allow people to to make you feel a certain type of way about yourself because you aren't behaving or showing up the way they would like you to show up or behave okay you guys know that you are an imperfect being an imperfect person um people are always going to have their their opinions about you okay and that's why i feel like some of you guys uh, don't feel the need to explain yourself to other people you guys are like the people who are for me are going to understand why i am focused on myself why i'm focused on work why i'm doing this why i'm doing that um, it doesn't make me a bad person. The people who are not for me, um, they just aren't for me, okay? So you guys also have this 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 uh, thing about you where you guys do not fear losing people, okay? You guys just take things for what it is and accept things for what it is, okay? You guys don't force people to, to see you in a certain light or to like you, okay? Um, you guys don't force people um, to stay, okay? To, to accept you because you guys already accepted yourself. Okay, so if, if you find people in your life who want to um, judge you, ridicule you, or uh, distance themselves away from you because you guys are behaving a certain way, some of you guys, if you are dealing with a mental illness in some way, um, yeah, you guys are like, you know, they're going to accept me for who I am, mental illness and all, okay, my behavior is all, or they're, they're not, okay, it is what it is. I can't make them see me in a certain light or see me the way I see myself. Yeah, so you guys are really great. So, okay, your best trait is really uh, loving yourself and appreciating yourself for who you are, okay, despite your flaws. Okay, I don't feel like you guys were always like this. It may have taken you guys a long time to fully uh, love yourself and see yourself for who you are and to accept that uh, people come and go, but the right people will definitely stay. Um, that is definitely one of your best traits and, and one of the lessons you guys, I feel like have learned throughout your life. Okay. Yeah. You guys have let go a lot of fear when it comes to, um, uh, life in general. Okay. Specifically when it comes to, uh, relationships, connecting with other people, it's something really, uh, significant about your relationships with other people. Okay. So if some of you guys are struggling uh, to accept certain connections in your life, okay, continue to work on it. If you find that people around you cannot accept you, if you are going through something uh, mentally, internally, 
um, you guys are learning to love yourself enough that you guys will not rely on other people's perception or love for you to determine how you show up in the world, okay? I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but continue to love yourself. And once again, the right people will, will stay, okay? People come and go, but the right people will definitely stay and love you just as much as you love yourself. Uh, maybe even more, okay? Um, it's, it's something about obsession. I don't know why I'm, I'm hearing obsess, uh, obsession, okay? Obsessive. So, yeah, people either love you all the way until obsession. They'll follow you to the ends of the earth or they hate your ass, okay? They wish nothing but the worst on you. Um, but at the end of the day, you guys, yeah, continue to love yourself because uh, sometimes in life, that's the way, the, you know, the world is. That's the way life is. And you guys can do nothing about it but just say fuck it, okay? It's not what it is. Let go of the rest, all right? So, yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching, for vibe with me. I have to do a little stretch, okay? That's I'm feeling. I'm just feeling so relaxed today. I was sipping on my little kombucha and yeah it's a good day so yeah you guys like share subscribe comment and also you guys um when you do subscribe excuse me i had a little burp um make sure you guys are hitting the bell to get notified when i upload videos like this every single monday okay so once again thank you for watching for about with me and i definitely will see you guys next time bye hey paul three uh three your words invest straight tall three the chance i got for you is flow by janelle Monet. okay oh my gosh so um pile three you guys could be a healthy mixture of i'm seeing fire i'm fire uh the reason why i said some of you guys could be fire um you guys could be uh earth and air okay float um, first I'm seeing that you guys, this is, has nothing to do with the actual topic, but I feel like you guys have a nice, uh, body. Okay. You guys have a nice body. If you guys don't, it's something about the way you guys dress your body. Okay. A certain level of confidence. Okay. I'm seeing that, um, you guys may have a uh, struggle with body image. I'm seeing that for some reason, um, accepting yourself, uh, looking at yourself in a healthy or a uh, positive light or perspective okay i feel like you guys are kind of getting over that um working through that when it comes to yourself uh self-image okay um you guys i'm seeing that you do not conform you guys are like in a league of your own you guys may have uh gotten over a lot of um issues when it comes to uh, other people dealing with other people and how they treat you how they viewed you and um, them trying to hold you back hold you down make you conform to certain things in society okay you guys definitely break the rules okay you guys have a rebellious type of energy and also if you guys listen to janelle monet uh listening to her music uh throughout the years i have uh just seen her in a different light she's she's uh always and constantly evolving okay and i feel like personally in, in my mind she's a lyrical genius okay it's always a deeper message um to her music to her songs it's really catchy okay and it makes you want to move your body okay something about your body also i'm saying you guys could be really great at um dancing okay I don't know why I'm seeing line stepping or um, if you guys were, uh, were in, uh, you guys were in like the step team or something like that or a dance team or you guys could have been a cheerleader in high school or something like that or even in college, okay? You guys are part of a team, just something with your body, okay? You could also be a captain of a drill team. Um, I'm even seeing you guys could have been in a band, okay something to do with the group okay when you guys move your body in some way um y'all had to get out get that out the way okay so float really listen to that song float um you guys the card that came out i don't know why i'm not getting cards from here but you guys got um letting go okay yeah you guys uh finally let go of a lot of things a lot of people i'm also seeing that you guys were straight um, could have been trying to elevate other people around you. I don't know why I'm feeling that, why I'm getting that. Listen to this song, okay? Um, listen to some of the things, some of the words she said in that song. Uh, you guys could have, uh, she said something about enemies, okay? Frenemies, they don't really like, okay? They don't really like her or something like that. So you guys could um, have been a part of a big group, okay? Growing up when you guys were younger, you guys found it easy to connect with people. Um, you guys may be that social butterfly, but you guys had a 
tendency, your worst traits, okay? Some of you guys still could be working through it right now. You could be doing it right now. It's keeping people around you who you know do not mean you any good, who you guys know don't like you, okay? Um, Because, yeah, I'm getting like two groups of you guys. I don't feel like this is, this is even a lot of you guys in this pile, but you guys, your worst trait could be um, not letting go of people, okay? Maybe keeping people in your circle who do not belong there, okay? Or if you guys did let people go, you kind of let people go based on, um, sometimes people could have told you around you that, hey, I don't think that you should hang around these group people. I don't think you should do this. And some of you guys may have prematurely let people go that were, uh, they kind of had your best interests at heart. They were kind of looking out for you because you guys weren't ready to see uh, certain truths about yourself, okay, and also about the people who you were keeping around. You guys could have let go of a lot of great connections, okay, um, in your life. And I'm feeling like these are older people, like maybe elders. Um, I'm even seeing a, a nosy neighbor who kind of saw you guys when you were growing up, maybe hang with the wrong crowd. <laughs> so they could have told your parents, it could have gotten you in trouble a lot, and you guys were like, could hold a lot of animosity and resentment towards these people who are only trying to help you. Who only saw the best in you um but just saw you guys were making bad decisions so you guys could be uh guilty of doing that okay letting go of uh good people who only had your best interest at heart but they had to uh they were kind of like trying to help you but you guys had to learn certain lessons about yourself and i feel like since you guys have learned the lessons you guys were like damn i shouldn't let that person go I shouldn't have let, uh, you know, miss such and such go or not even just people that you guys don't know, but also family members. You could have distanced yourself away from family members uh, who were only trying to look out for you. And because they weren't saying what you guys wanted to hear or they were uh, bringing your awareness or your acknowledgement to certain people around you, you guys weren't ready to face it. You could have held on to a lot of bad people or even made poor decisions in your life uh, that kind of kept you from growing from some sort of expansion or growth in your life. So you guys could allow a lot of people to kind of hold you back. Um, sometimes want, want to be a part of the group um, to, to fit in and not truly want to step into your power of being a leader, okay? So that definitely could have been your worst trait. I'm saying could have been because I feel like this is something you guys have dealt with in the past, okay? Um, yeah, so some of you guys let go of good people who are trying to warn you. And some of you guys that had an issue with uh, holding on to, to people you should have let go, okay? So that that is definitely one of your worst traits. Um, and your best traits is, is, is letting go of people who, uh, I feel like you guys have definitely learned this lesson already. You guys have uh, recently learned this lesson to let go of people and to truly see them for who they are because everyone cannot sit, at you, sit with you at your table, okay? I'm seeing that if you guys have uh, recently been through some sort of, uh, success. Okay. You guys are even going towards a certain level of success. Um, you guys are seeing who don't belong in your life or who does. Um, you guys are for sure letting these people go. And also I'm saying that you guys, uh, could be that barrier breaker. Okay. That rule breaker, really rebellious. You guys are starting to step into your power, into your energy and start to accept yourself for who you are. So it's something about acceptance. Okay. And you guys got to send it masters, create, create open communication. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some of you guys, your, your best trait as far as, uh, as far as people in your life, I feel like this has something to do with, uh, connections in your life. Okay. Some of you guys could have came for Paul too. Okay. But I'm seeing that you guys are, are really great at, uh, like I said, releasing people releasing people and letting them know that they do not serve a purpose in your life or uh, letting them know that um, you guys can see that they're not for you or even speaking your mind, something about speaking your mind, breaking the rules, becoming rebellious. Um, you guys are starting to find your power, okay, your voice, okay? Um, some people in your life who have been holding you back or um, trying to discourage you from growth, from some sort of expansion and growth in your life, you guys are Finally, uh, I would say letting these people know who you are and being proud of it, okay? Really not holding yourself back or holding yourself uh, down to please other people. You guys are finally becoming that leader, okay? Um, float, okay? I'm seeing flights, okay? Soaring high, uh, ascendant masters, yes, okay? It's something about that, Paul 3. 
flow. Yeah, you guys really struggled in the past, okay, as far as your worst traits. Um, with letting people know what it was. I feel like you guys' worst trait um, is, is also ghosting people, okay? I don't know why I'm saying you guys blocking a lot of people. Um, some of you guys feel like sometimes it's a need to, uh, I would say, explain stuff to people. I wouldn't really say explain, but some of you guys feel like with some people, you are able to uh, communicate and talk with and let them know why you don't deal with them anymore or why you have to let them go. Other people you feel like it's just not worth your time or your energy. Uh, specifically, if you guys have a certain uh, a certain malice towards that person, okay, if you guys don't really like a person or you guys feel like a person is uh, trying to tell you what to do, trying to make you conform, you guys will react to them in a harsh way. Uh, maybe block them, okay? Or maybe even curse them out. It's something about the way you cut people loose, okay? It's, it's, not, it's not the prettiest, okay? It's, it's not the most uh, delicate, all right? I think that is one of the worst traits or what most people around you might uh, deem as the worst trait within you. Because I don't think you guys are, are truly like this. I feel like you guys are uh, being hyperly or critically judged by people around you who may have gotten the boot from you, okay? Because they weren't, uh, they just caught you on one of your days. I don't feel like you guys are always like this, okay? I feel like you guys' energy, when it comes to you on a daily basis, you're like uh, pleasant to be around, okay? Um, I'm also seeing eccentric. You guys are a quirky and eccentric person. So you may also use big words in your communication or you guys may say certain things that are kind of, are kind of outside the box that a lot of people don't really think about on a regular basis. So when you guys say it, they look at you like you guys are weird, okay? Um, yeah, I'm getting that you guys may get a lot of people who want to challenge you or feel the need to, I don't know, like... Uh, like I said, make you fit into a certain box. And when you guys say something or communicate or, or behave a certain way, they're kind of like a taken back, okay, or appalled, okay? So um, if you guys do end up cursing someone out or saying something out the way or even blocking people, um, nine out of 10 times, they kind of deserved it, okay? They kind of deserve that cut off or they deserve that because I feel like sometimes people, because you guys are unusual, uh, not their usual type, not what they're used to. They have a tendency of uh, overly being judgmental of you or critical of you. And you guys can sometimes spot this in people. Um, Some of you guys, like I said, you may have uh, maybe having a bad day or they catch you at a wrong time. Or um, you guys are just like, I'm so sick of people judging me or saying things out the way to me. They can't accept me for who I am. Fuck it. You guys may definitely... Uh, prematurely cut someone off or cut people off or block them or curve them in some way and it kind of hurts their feelings okay some people you guys do it because you feel like you know it's definitely justified but other people you feel like uh, maybe i shouldn't have been that harsh but uh yeah they were causing you problems or, or something or you guys weren't ready to face certain things if you have people in your life who are constantly nitpicking at you um judging you and stuff like that you guys will cut them off really harshly um, and sometimes it may get become a little messy or it may get a little messy, okay, where you guys could uh, fuss, cuss, or um, just hit below the bow. It's a lot of it's something to do with uh, air signs, with communication. I did say you guys could be an air sign or earth sign, okay? Um, yeah, I'm getting the stone, like holding on to the stones, like staying grounded, um, uh, earth, okay? An earthy type of feeling to this card. And with this card, is more like air. Uh, ascending okay floating the song is called float so yeah definitely air signs a uh, libra gemini uh, aquarius okay yeah. <laughs> yeah oh my gosh you guys give me a second okay give me a second i kind of make a call i definitely have to make a call you guys okay so um and it's going to be a really, really long call. And I've been putting this call off forever. But um, yeah, you guys, I definitely want to leave it here. I'm sorry if this felt like it wasn't uh, long enough. Okay, but um, I must go. And I'll try to uh, post a little bit more this week, if not this week. Uh, definitely next week because, like I said, my schedule is constantly changing. And I haven't really got a hold of my schedule and my timings. So um, 
I do want to put out more picker cards, but sometimes, you guys, if I just don't have the time, I just don't have the time. I'm not going to put myself in. But, yeah, you guys, uh, definitely the, the worst and best traits, you guys, when it comes to you, Pile 3, is communication and um, also letting go of other people, staying high vibrational, okay? Your best trait is definitely staying high vibrational, um, letting go of uh, things that do not serve you. And also your worst traits is sometimes prematurely cutting things off before uh, you're able to assess things or to you guys are able to uh, get to know certain people, okay? Maybe you guys aren't, like I said, ready to face certain things that people are saying to you about you and you guys may prematurely cut them off as far as a, a defense mechanism, okay? If you guys know you aren't doing that, then disregard it. If you guys know you are, then maybe you need to definitely work on it, okay? And um, also holding on to people you guys know is not for you, all right? That could be one of you guys' worst traits. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Because I think I said, I'm just doing too much and I'm saying too much. Okay, so I'm going to stop. But thank you guys so much for watching for God with me. If you guys like it, like, share, subscribe. Also comment, I don't mind. And yes, you guys, I will definitely see you next time. So, bye.